Let's talk about public enemy number one. Midgets, seriously. <laughs> I cannot get enough of that show. Don't you love that show? The midget show? They, don't call, they call it Little People, Big World. I call it The Midget Show because it's about midgets. Now, if you haven't seen the show, there's a little midget couple and they have kids. Now, they have a set of twins. Now, the first twin, let's call him really lucky because he's like 6'2". I don't know how they do that. Then they have another son, not so lucky. He's however tall this is here. Now, the best part of the show is watching the little midget son play soccer, right? It's like a video game. You're like, turbo, 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 go, 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 go. And you don't see legs. You're like, is that a ball? No, that's him. And he's amazing. But here's the thing. I feel so guilty every time I watch that show because I'll eat a box of Keebler Elf cookies and they're delicious. And so are midgets. Midgets are edible. Did you know that? No, you didn't. Next time you see a midget, bite him in the face. <laughs> Here's something I did not know. I did not know that midgets hate to be called midgets. I didn't know that. I did know that. I don't care. They're midgets. Like, we're not going to do anything. You know, like... <laughs> I've had some bad, like, exchanges with midgets, okay? First of all, they're always in a bad mood. Okay, they're all... <laughs> which I find kind of bizarre because they walk like there's a really happy song playing in their heads, you know? <laughs> What's the problem, dude? So I'm doing a show in Arizona a few weeks ago. I'm talking to somebody like at human height, like up here after the show. And the midget comes up behind me and you know, he wants to talk, so he <laughs> And I have a bruised hamstring to prove this, okay? So I know he's there, but I want him to have fun. And I want to have fun too. So I start to go like, you know, like. And he's like, I know you can fucking see me. I know you can fucking see me. So then I go, does Santa know you're here? Right? Now he's very upset at this point. And he starts to lecture me, you know? He goes, you know, you shouldn't say midget. You shouldn't say midget. You should say little people. You shouldn't say midget. And I'm like, why not? And he goes, because saying midget is like saying nigger. And I was like, whoa. First of all, we're both white. And if somebody hears you, I'm not protecting you. <laughs> Secondly, it's not the same thing because our ancestors didn't own midgets, all right? Not unless they won some crazy high stakes poker game that was like, I'm going all in, plus the court jesters. And you're like, pair of kings, I'm fucked. Now, I wish they did. I wish my parents were like, Tom, your great grandfather, he owned like 40 midgets. Because I'd be like, get the fuck out of here. Do we still get them? And if we did, I would take my midgets and I would put little bowls on their heads and I would fill them with different types of dip and salsa, and I would have them walk around so I could scoop out whatever I felt like eating. Want some hummus? Get the fuck over here. You guys were a lot of fun. Thanks a lot. Have a great night.